I got here 8 pin rotary changeover switch from Amazon coming from of course China and uh, is is coming with without any instructions how to do everything so we have to use simple electrical skills from school so the wiring is simple we have to use the multimeter to, to see on 200 ohms in this case so we have here pins number one three five and seven and here we have four two eight six that means that one side have to be input outside other side have to be output and so we use at the moment two sources and one customer uh, owners of caravans and uh, campers know that is uh, is hard when changing the the source of power you know the the weather in the uk in the winter and even not winter today is 26th of july and i'm with my jacket <laughs> so to do this this we have to check the pin position where is so here input should be this and this connected with this here and this and this here connected between so first we have to check on short that our multimeter is working so switch on position one and I have to check here yes is working another side <coughs> is not working so position zero have to be off everywhere and position two should be on the bottom side yes we got it but at all times we should not be so confident with uh, Chinese cheap actually this one is Chinese from Amazon for nine pounds so we not have to be confident fully confident with with them and always we have to check for any shortcuts so there is a simple way just have to check all together in all possible ways so when we know that the, the, the two are connected so i don't need to check all of them just for sure of course in switch off position also i have to check all of them so there is nothing wrong with this but to be 100 percent sure we need to check that look everywhere is is clear so there is nothing yes everything is clear so the perfect idea is let me switch on one so here will be input as, as i mentioned so this one will be input from the generator and when it's position one will be connected with the consumer 
when it's position two, again here will be connected here. But for working properly in the system, we need to do a bridge on the output size side here because when it's position one. They will be working fine, but when there is position 2 from here, from here, and if your output is here, there will be nothing if it's here. Yes, so we need the bridge here to be 100% sure that in each position. I mean, it's each positive position one or two. The consumer here will be fully connected with one of the source of power. Doesn't matter, one for generator and two for inverter. Is your choice which one need to be? Is up to the the measurement of the cables which one coming from and going to so I will decide later so next next step I will show you how I will wire this everything and how we will place it and we finally I will test it with my generator our bridge wiring is ready just simple two, two wires going on each side it's much important to remember which side will be live so positive and negative so when connected next time we have to know the generator life need to be on this side and the inverter life to be on this side so the, we have strictly to match the color of the wiring i have seen here one simple graphic how i would like to do everything so as you see, here is our bridge that we got it here. There is inverter. This will come here on the bottom. So when is position two, will be on inverter as a measure. Few minutes ago. Uh, the generator will be on top, coming here. And we connect just here. And the sockets will connect here together with the bridge. So it doesn't matter the bridge, the uh, doesn't matter the, the switch position. On each position one or two, the bridge giving us power to this socket, socket one. But there is another socket there. But instead of me wiring it just here, I just decide to con connect it here directly with the generator. So the generator will be here and the socket 2 will be directed together. So why I'm doing this? The simple reason is because the socket 2 will be used only for... Uh, battery charger and I don't need it when um, I have a source from my inverter and there is a human factor so somebody can don't know or I as a known person who built this maybe I will forget to switch off the socket too and there will be cycle on the power uh, from uh, inverter going to the sockets and going back to battery so to avoid this i just simply simply decided to connect it here of course you have you can connect it externally here on the cable with three-way uh, three-way contactor but 
for me I think here is not necessary so I will do it here on this point there is a plenty of space inside for this tiny wiring so we have just to be careful and on next stage I will show you how I'm connect everything then I will test it all wiring is set at the moment so everything is fine cannot be seen properly because there are too many wires going in different places and actually you don't know which one coming from but everything is set up for 30 minutes carefully everything is checked for losing some of them had to be fixed twice because some of them coming out so now everything is checked all covers are being checked be on one side and now it's ready for assembling and don't forget the rubber gaskets preventing the water inside finally everything is well assembled here is the solar panel controller the inverter is down there the sockets and we can see our cooling fan is working, our lighter working, and now we are on sun panel. As you see down there, the, the sockets connected directly to the generator are not working. There is the charger. Now let's go to zero everything is off one there is nothing because our generator is still under the table let's go start it and test it Now the generator is on, we can simply go to, to one. The fan now is working, the lights are on, and the sockets down there, which are charging the batteries now. These sockets here are connected directly with the generator. We can use this socket for some bigger consumption, like a heater on the winter. I've got here diesel heater, but just in case, if I need it, I use uh, this socket for some heater. And also, uh, I have spare generator, spare of spare, so. I never get out of power. And now if we want to switch off, lights go off, the fan lights, but this sockets keep going, so battery is still charging. <laughs> 